Happy Halloween. Or if you're watching this at some other time in the year, happy fucking nothing. You know, it occurred to me the other day, what with all the Sega Head episodes I've shat out this year, they've all had one thing in common. I mean, there was the Lion King, Mario Paint, Barney the Dinosaur, and Maximum Carnage. I'm happy with all of those videos, but none of them are about Master System games. I mean, what the fuck was I thinking? Well, it's time to change that, and I know the perfect game to cover. Now, this game is a unique one in my collection, and for a very strange reason. The game's name? Wolf Child. And can you see why it's unique? It's cause it's sealed. Still wrapped in the same plastic that covered it when it came out of the factory. Now, obviously, in order to make the video, I gotta unwrap it. There. I did it. And you can't prove otherwise. Alright, fuck you, so I went on eBay and bought a loose cart. Actually, I didn't buy just the game, I also got the booklet. And believe it or not, it's actually one of the coolest manuals for a Master System game. I mean, look here! There's a comic inside! Sometime in the future, high atop a remote island, somewhere in the southern Pacific, Saul Morrow sits alone in his father's laboratory. Milwaukee. Olympic athlete Saul Morrow has refused to comment on the kidnapping of his scientist father, Cal, and the subsequent murder. It all came flooding back. His mother and brother, brutally murdered by Chimera agents. His father, kidnapped. But this was no time to grieve. It was time for action. Mom! Paul! Dad! Saul could barely contain his rage, but he knew that he alone was no match for the Chimera forces. Inside his father's computer files, he uncovers Project Wolf Child, a genetic program to create a lycanthrope warrior. A human with the ability to transform into a powerful man-wolf with uncanny psychic powers. Saul activated the program and stepped into the transmutation booth. Now there was no turning back. The five second countdown seemed to last forever. Cold metal clamped into place. The booth was awash with light. The experiment had begun. The pain was intense, but the transformation was swift. Now that's an epic thing to have in a booklet. Hey, what's this? Passwords? <laughs> well, we won't be needing that. Enough of the crap. Let's fire it up. Wolf Child. Just listen to that music. You know, that's a good sign right there. Decent 8-bit music. You can't beat it. And yes, like the writing on the booklet hinted, this game does indeed have passwords. All right then, so this is punch, that's jump. The graphics look nice, and... wait... Where'd the music go? The fuck? Did the game crap out? <laughs> wait, so there's no fucking music except for the track on the title screen? Even ALF had music on it. Okay, so it didn't have any sound effects, but there was music! So this is like, the opposite of that. Whatever, the graphics are pretty cool at least, jumping isn't too floaty, and punching the enemies feels good and responsive. So these are the power-ups that turn you into the wolf child, which gives you the ability to shoot shit. Unlike when you're a normal human and have no choice but to get up close and punch people. Level 1 has some basic platforming for you to do, and BUCKER! I got turned into a human again. Not really a big deal, seeing as there's plenty of power-ups at the start. I gotta say, I like it when a game gets inventive with its baddies. Look at this prick. Doing a Donkey Kong impression. Requires you to have a bit more skill when trying to kill him. 
which is why I fucked it up so well. And look at this guy! He may have a cannon, but with a few punches, BOOM! He's a goner! And he ain't even the boss. This twerp is. Looks tough, right? Well, check this out. <laughs> Can't get me, idiot. And just like that, it's level two. The forest. Now, as for why, in the name of Queen Elizabeth's pet pony named Donald, have we gone from a cool-ass spaceship to a fucking garden? I wouldn't mind so much if it weren't for the fact that this level is grade A bullshit. I got lost as all balls in no time flat. And while I seem able to get pretty far, I can't get past this but fucking bellend! Dead. 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 Bread. Dead. Dead. I am getting really sick of hearing my own 8-bit footsteps. I used to think Lara Croft's walking was irritating. Or Jill Valentine's walking was irritating. But this sounds like some dipshit just tapping a single key on a crappy Casio keyboard. Does Casio make keyboards? Or is it just watches? Whatever, I know what I mean. This is really starting to piss me off now. Oh, sod it. What harm can it do, eh? There you go, nuts to the forest and onto the ancient temple. Holy shit, maybe this really is turning into an 8 bit Tomb Raider. Well, uh, oh, fuck you. What toss noblet put a damn boulder at the start? How are you supposed to react to bullshit like that? Well, maybe I can't. Okay, well, <laughs> fucking jumbo buggers. Jeez, the difficulty ramped up damn quick. The ceiling here seems to piss out bugs at you. And there's even more hidden nasties all over the place. Easy. Easy. Wanker! To be completely honest with you, I am actually getting further each time I attempt this level. Unlike the forest one where I just got stuck like fuck. So while this level is really challenging, I am enjoying myself a lot more. Yeah, I do seem to do better each time now. Oh shit! It's a boss! And it's a... Spee! A spy! A spy! Da, 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 an arachnid! Oh god, this is seriously lacking any kind of suspense without some sort of boss battle music. Fuck! Aww, oh, double fuck! Oh, fuck it! Again! Right, so after the eight legged bastard, it's. The laboratory. Even though it looks more like a warehouse with nothing in it. Oh, cool, I found a secret. Woo. You know what? This level is dull as shit. It's just a half ass blue background with steel girders scattered about the place. The last three levels all had some decent designs, but this is just. meh. Bollocks to it, I'm bored. Let's try the last level. Time to enter the inner core. Yay, instead of everything being blue, it's now orange. Yay. Here's the top tip for this level. If you ain't the wolf, you're fucked. It's too damn tough as the human. You gotta have the projectiles. Bollocks to it, I'm done. But I ain't done completely. Did you know there was a version that came out on the Sega Genesis? I don't actually own that one, but I do own the one on the Mega CD. Holy crap, look at that cutscene! And look at the graphics! In fact, fuck that, listen to the music! This is awesome, holy shit! Everything about this version is better. It's just incredible! This is one hell of a game. Still challenging, but way more enjoyable. And that's it for Wolf Child. You know, the SMS version is a decent game but it really suffers without music. The Mega CD version is just pure gold. I mean, it's just awesome. And you know what? I'm happy with how this video went today. Very. If this was an immature and half ass Halloween video, then this would probably be the sad, stupid, pathetic point where I would turn into a werewolf or something. I'm <laughs> <laughs>
Wolf. Today's episode was sponsored by this message. Every year, millions of games are purchased by collectors off of eBay. The games are sealed and are left sealed. They go unplayed in an uncaring world. These games were meant to be played. Open your game cases. Put the cartridge in the console. Play these games. Save them from a life on a shelf where they get no love, no appreciation, and are completely and utterly pointless. When you see a game that is still sealed in plastic, set it free from that plastic and play your games. Not this one though, because, you know, it, it, it's my one.